And I was actually able to find the priest that spent six hours with Diana as she, you know, with Diana's body in the hospital in Paris. Any update? Have you heard anything about the Queen and her health and how she's doing? She's extraordinarily well. I mean, she is 95. Right. <laughs> and there was, a small, there was a small blip on the horizon, but she's actually extraordinarily well. I mean, she made the most wonderful speech for the age that she is mm -hmm. um, in relation to the G28 summit. You know, it was a wonderful speech, which was recorded online. She was mm -hmm. absolutely alive. I mean, look at those eyes. Know, They're just so penetrative and alive <laughs> and you know, housed within a lady who's lived for 95 years. Extraordinary. It really is it's absolutely extraordinary do you think everybody's going to come together for christmas Yes, I mean, uh, Harry and Meghan won't be able to because of um, their own particular um, arrangements, because they're very, very busy with the next project or the series of projects right. that they're involved in, <laughs> because there's a lot going on. But certainly all the families will be coming together to see the Queen at Sandringham, and particularly because Philip will no longer be there. It's going to be a, a tough Christmas, a different Christmas. <laughs> going to be different. I find her absolutely extraordinary, the way that she continues um, and is a great illustration to us all about how to transcend self-pity. Yeah, it, it's it's remarkable. She really is such a strong, a strong woman. And I mean, how are you doing? I know uh, you still are riding high off the book. I mean, are you uh, maybe planning on writing another book in the future? Yes, yes, I am. I am. I'm so excited about this book. I'm collating all of the information as we speak. Mm -hmm. um, the, the next book, I've been asked by a well-known New York publisher if I would actually write another book. Um, so it will be about the legacy of Diana. So I'm interviewing some very interesting people, including Andrew. Um, and I was actually able to find the priest that spent six hours with Diana as she, you know, with Diana's body in the hospital in Paris. And he's given me this very, very unique interview about the process that he went through. That has while to be fascinating. He spent six hours in vigil with her. So that will be the first chapter of the book. And there are some fascinating people that have come forward who are really pioneering heroines and heroes of the Diana Awards, you know, young kids that have extraordinary stories who were born before, you know, after Diana died. But at the same time, are totally plugged into the endorsing nature of what her legacy was all about. I mean, they go on and on and on for hours talking about Diana with the greatest love. Wow, I can't I can't wait to read it. When are you hoping, hoping to get the book out? Hopefully by the summer of next year, but you know, publishing processes take time. Take so time. I hope so. I'm, I know that over Christmas, I'm going to be writing a storm. I, well, I cannot wait to get my hands on it. And I'm sure it's going to be fascinating, just like your other books. Stuart, thank you so much. It's always such a pleasure get, catching up with you. And hopefully we can do it again soon. Oh, bless you. And I do hope we meet when I'm in New York City. Thank Definitely. you so much. I would love that. All right. Have a safe trip. Thank you. Have a great day. All right. You too.